Welcome back, everyone, to theCUBE's coverage here in Las Vegas for Avis reInvent 2024, 12th year. I'm Sean Furrier, your host of theCUBE. I'm here doing interviews all day, yesterday, today, Wednesday, Thursday, um, and the analysts are in the analysts. I'm at the win. Dave Vellante and the CUBE research team is there. I'm holding down the fort here, doing the podcast, doing the interviews. Sarb Jeet Joal's here. He's a and technology analyst, Stack Plane. Um, Stack Plane. Stack, Stack Plane. Pain. P A N E. Pain, not, not yeah. plane. I think data plane, control plane, stack pain. Um, great to have you on here. You always do your uh, analyst notebook segment. We yeah. had Paul Nishwadi on earlier. Um, you're in the sessions. You're talking to all the people, getting all the stories. Um, what's in your notebook? What's, what is the uh, current reInvent? Obviously, the keynote was phenomenal. Jesse made an appearance. But you know, starting to see the announcement. We've got the big ones coming. You've got the late night one with Werner. What's, what are you hearing? Yeah, we have two keynotes to go, but the two keynotes are done. Like we, me and Dave were at uh, last night's key, keynote. Like they have uh, announced the new chips, new server. Uh, so that's kind of not a, a surprise. Um, sort of, I mean, nothing is surprising there from the hardware sort of point of view, right? But uh, today's keynote was, I think, great because it was orchestrated well. It was orchestrated the way you sort of slate it after the interview with uh, with Matt in in, uh, in Seattle. So they put the primitives f forefront, actually the core components, you know, compute, storage, and then network, right? So they put that in front, and in between they wove the announcements. So that was, I think, smartly done. And after that, they went into the, the um, AI and Gen AI sort of space. They covered some of that, and then they brought, brought in Andy Jassy and then they finished with the cube, two flavors of cube. So I think beautifully orchestrated, and I mean, action packed. I mean, had every minute was was yes. curated. It was jammed. Announcement after announcement, and a couple of customers in there. Uh, well, they good. they started out the keynote with um, Matt Garman's keynote. First thing, community. Yes, heroes was called out. That was awesome. I was talking with um, uh, Drew Ferment on LinkedIn, who's a LinkedIn friend. Loved the Matt Carmen interview, but you know he's like talking about the heroes. He must have known him. He may not have known, but his heroes was called out. His second point after calling out the community, saying the community is super important. Developers, yeah. Okay, so to me, that was a game statement. Yes, by Garmin, community, developers. My post was back to the basics, which was the theme. Yeah. Of course, Gen AI's got the hype and they will have something there. And then Jassy flexes muscle. We've been doing AI since forever and gave some use cases. So I think they're going to get past the the skeptics and the pundits saying they don't have AI. They're going to just let their game do the talking. But community, developers, and infrastructure performance. I mean, this is their bed and bread and butter. Yeah. I mean, clearly. And then obviously Deepak Singh with Q for developers. And you got Dilip Kumar who heads up Q for business. Clearly, code support, democratizing non-technical access to develop. Again, driving the, maybe the the other engineers and developers down to the low level. I mean, this is what we talk about in the cube. You and I yep. talked about this what five times in the past two sessions. You've been on like two years. It's yes. happening. It's happening. So actually, the, we were just talking before we started recording here, guys, uh, or, or going live. Um, that there's no magic in in computing. There's logic there, right? There's there's there are zeros and ones, and they get flipped based upon what we tell computers to do. And in, in this case, large language models are telling them based upon our prompts, right? So um, I have had numerous discussions with IBM folks and with Google, few Google folks, and here uh, some of their experts here who are like all these PhDs in in, in sort of uh, Gen AI and AI. And, and they, I qualified my sort of thinking with them. And the fact is that we, when we view the next generation applications, they will be hybrid applications. We will use the old constructs, data coming from the actual databases where we, it sits right now. And then also the, the Gen AI agents will be called in. So agentic workflow will use the old primitives as well as a new small language models as well as large language models through APIs. So that's how these applications will be written because I, I, I have come up with this one-liner that, that, that our applications are the codification of laws of the land. 
So I live in Alameda County. My property tax rate is 1.08, whatever percent is that. That I that you can ask LLM and and it gives you like 1.2 percent to today and 1.5 percent tomorrow. You can't rely on these large There's hallucinations. Models. Everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So so actual data will be actual data. There are, there are regulations. There are laws and states. You can't be wrong. I had GP Morgan Chase on. She said we we can't have a bad day. We can't be wrong ever. Exactly. Yes. Uh, so I think for that reason we'll be hybrid for a long time to come. Maybe forever. Uh, maybe quantum computing will help some of uh, alleviate some of these concerns. So that's there. But let's talk about developers. So we can go. There's so many announcements. Like for, let's talk actually about the frontier models. Yeah, I think that that was huge. That was a big news. That that was a big. That was the reveal. Yeah, Jassy that, that was the reveal. They, they kept it secret. We didn't know that. By the by the way, folks, that like, we were told yesterday in a one hour session that what the announce, announcements will be made. But 80% of the announcements were there from that session. Did they talk about Nova or no? No, no, they didn't talk about that. They kept so it. So they kept that secret, yes. And that was top secret. So I was surprised when they announced uh, the, their Frontier model in four flavors. And then they have a, the video model and, and, and the uh, photos and graphics model. You know, it's too. getting all the buzz in the press right now. The the, the journalists, obviously, they, they, not, they don't know the nuance like we do. Hence, they go for the the story that they can understand that is oh apple was on stage yeah okay really that's the top story yeah actually I, mean, they, they, really? I think they kind of couldn't wow. dissect maybe the most of the the, the people who are reporting news um at these news or news organizations most not all they are not techie you know they don't understand the the nuances right so i think that with the with the frontier model uh amazon has joined the main leak of gen ai you know that's google that uh, including Anthropic, and uh, that's uh, uh, Facebook, right? That's uh, uh, OpenAI. So they compared on stage the performance of the newer model uh, with those models, right? So that was huge. So it's it's, it's not a like a. Teacher. What else do you have? What else do you got? Uh, so um, yeah, I think okay. They took step. Let's let's cover this next thing. Is I want to cover is that. They took stab at few vendors. They took stab at Microsoft with, by saying that we want to we want you to get out of Windows, right? Uh, and then they during during that how they want to do that is that they want to move all .NET applications from Windows to Linux, and the uh, the Q for developer will help in that. So Q for helper has a code an migration, agent. yeah, basically code modernization, code modernization to get off the windows, right? And there's another sort of, not code mig migration, in this case it's like ops migration, that's they want people to move off of VMware into cloud native, right? So not the way it was said yesterday in one hour session, you know, the secret session for, for a few of us, that was said like very bluntly, but here they kind of mild it down a little bit from the main stage, but they, they want to give people option on it to get off VMware. And the, the, the main thing there is that they will uh, give you the network topology mappings. So if you have VMware, they'll say, oh, we'll map the network to AWS network. So I think that's huge. So they also took uh, kind of a shot at, uh, mm. you can say IBM through the mainframe modernization. So, so that's another one, right? Um, and they also did, enhance the queue for developer for unit tests uh, for documentation and code reviews. So those were three enhancements. So they beefed up the queue for developer a lot uh, because it's kind of well-contained environment. They understand it all. But queue for business is still kind of generic um, sort of service, if you will. Mm -hmm. But in there, they are doing a very clever or smart thing. They, they are giving you indexing me mechanism where you can plug in the business-specific knowledge as an ISV or as a, a typical enterprise, so you can push your data, your domain-specific domain-specific knowledge into Q4 Business uh, through that mechanism. I think that was that that's a clever thing they are doing. Uh, so those are the things on the Q. Uh, what else? Amazon Q analytics. Actually, they, they spend a lot of time on the analytics and how they are they are sort of 
merging the um, so they are saying that the analytics world and the gen ai world will, will merge uh, and how the relational database can be data from relational databases or all different types of databases relational non relation can be brought into the model training and they they showed us uh, uh quite a few slides during the analyst session. What's your big takeaway, Sarji? I'm looking at all this. You got the notes. Um, <laughs> what's your big, when you zoom out, what's yeah. happening right now? What's really happening at this moment in time? Okay, my biggest takeaway is this, that Amazon with the with their Frontier model has got this, this illusion removed. I, we People who know Amazon AWS, they knew that we have the substance, right? That this vendor has substance. But they removed this this uh, sort of fictitious fear from masses' mind that, oh, they, they're behind. They're and, behind an AI. Yeah, that, that's gone. That's gone. So that's number one. The number two is they are, they're like all vendors, they're still trying, they're ahead of the game, but they're still trying to help the developers get their head around how we will build the next generation applications. So um, bedrock, you know, how the bedrock will be used, um, that is still being worked on. Um, and they are showing the examples of code and like how you will weave in the old with new. So that's still work in progress like it is at IBM, like it is at, at uh, Google, but they are ahead of the game because they're so close to the primitives. And and, and the last thing I'll say is the, the main, from the main sort of three takeaways is that uh, we have talked about this many times that AWS actually innovates at all strands of the of the platform and the infrastructure. You take any little strand, you know, there are the, the three core pillars like compute, storage, and network. Under that, there are so many pillars like the wireless networks, mm -hmm. on-prem, cloud, different sort of flavors of network, different flavors of storage, different flavors of uh, compute. Now there's GPUs and all that. So they are innovating at all levels, and that is the key, actually. And, and 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 if you are a vendor who wants to stay up to date or 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 with the cutting edge, um, and, and you want to work with a vendor, I think they're one of them. Let me ask you a final question: If you're a company out there, and you're trying to figure out what side of history I need to be on, technically and business model wise, to survive and thrive, and which side of the street is the extinction? event. How would you describe that? What's the line? What side of the street is the success side? And which side of the street is the you're out of business side? How would you take a stab at that? It's a tough question, but I won't put it out there. Yeah, I think it's it's like age old question. Like, you know, if you're afraid of change, then you will be be hit by change, right? So you will be killed by change. So you, you have to embrace the change and the change in our world is these days is Gen AI. You play with it, but but you don't want to rely oh like rely blindly on it. Like the use case uh, selection is he, like super critical, and the vendor selection is very critical as well. So yeah. those two. because I, I there's an old expression, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. And if you're an enterprise, your beauty is your deal, like your yeah. company, your business model. So if you're there's no vendor version of you that's like, hey, I can help you be successful. I think we're seeing an era of hyper customization yeah exactly where customization is a feature not a bug because workloads are workloads they they, pay, they operate you know the same application human resources application or finance application or whatever application customer application it could be called the same in one company called the same in the other company but it'd be behaved completely different one might have vmware in it yeah that they exactly. love it yeah but i mean the vmware modernization i mean i'm i'm not I'm bullish on VMware. I think they're going to survive because it's core plumbing in yeah. companies. Talking about plumbing, before I came here, our plumbing broke broke at home. I had to change my flight three times. So plumbing is so essential, especially if your home is old. <laughs> and we have if your plumbing breaks in the enterprise. You're missing more than a flight. <laughs> it's nothing, disruptive. Nothing works. I mean, the disruption plumbing. is not a good business model. Yes. Um, well, I mean, again, redundancies, resilience is going to be a big topic. Wait. Uh, I asked Lori Beer, Chief Morgan Chase, she actually answered the question about resilience in Gen AI. And she's the first executive leader that has critical infrastructure. And I would call JP Morgan Chase critical infrastructure. She yeah, actually yeah. said that, and I would agree with her. 
Um, they operate at a, a similar scale of a hyperscaler because they're massive. Do you know their budget's seventeen billion a year? Yeah, they they move trillions, uh, tens billion. of tens of trillions of dollars a day. They move yeah. around, yeah. and so it's it's a significant thing. She actually said we have a resilient framework that they're applying to Gen AI, like Matt Garman said. It's just another application. So they're very pragmatic, and I like that answer. Um, it's pretty strong. Yeah, I mean that's a good answer. Now, how what that means comes back down to the operations, how you're configuring things. So I think we're going to be living in a world where heterogeneous systems combined with open source software and open systems will determine the pecking order of the vendors. Yeah. And you can't ignore the role of the hyperscaler. The Amazon, Meta, I mean, I, Meta's stockpiling a bunch of GPUs. They're winning over the developers with their mojo. Yep. So they're, they're BTC, like, vendor per se, but B2B companies that have started to use their large language model, and, and they are um, uh, sort of uh, making that model smaller, and there's a term for that actually I'm missing right now, so um, uh, and, and then they condense that model to make it a smaller model, and then they infuse their own data into it, so to make a smaller a, a small language model, SLM, and then SLM, the beauty of SLM is that, that during the, the inference stage it's cheaper to operate and you pay a lot less bill well sarji great to have you on the cube again as usual uh congratulations for um digging in to the data thanks for coming in with all that knowledge from the analyst summit um bringing your analyst notebook here on the cube great to have you thanks for thank coming you. on thank you and we we're looking forward to, forward to two more uh, keynotes and thanks to you and thanks to Dave and thanks to all yeah. whole Cube team and you guys are bringing actually the the real stories uh, out of this uh, conference. I mean, this is the only yeah. real game where yeah. we get the real we get all news. We get blanket thanks coverage. To you guys, all of you <laughs> behind the scenes. She knows how to schmooze schmooze everyone behind the desk. They do a great no, job. Our production they are, team, like they are, they're they are, awesome. Uh, yes, and again, yes. we're doing our part. Whatever it takes to get the story, the the flow on SiliconAngle.com is at an all time high. Team coverage, blanket coverage of reInvent, our 12th year. We got the CUBE research team, the CUBE collective of research friends. It's an open network, it's a trusted network uh, of innovators and people contributing content and loved your video coming in. And of course, we love collaborating with you out there. We'll be right back with more to wrap up today's segments right after this short break. <laughs>